Well, good morning. Welcome to Chasing Chunks TV. I'm Johnny Tosh. And if you don't recognise this view behind me, then you haven't been a visitor to my channel before. And uh, you will not know it's the Bowl Carp Syndicate. Now, I've had a really good V blog going on this place for the past two years targeting the carp. If you look in the library below, then you'll be able to see some of the absolute superb carp that live in this lake. However, I'm not here to target the carp this time. I'm here to target another species, and that's the pike. Now, there's quite a few pike in here, and there is some great big crocs as well. When I've been carp fishing down here, I have uh, seen some really big monsters in here, and I would imagine there's a couple of 20s in here to be caught. I've had fish when I've been reeling in my pop-ups of that on the slow swim that you'll see in a bit, up to 16 pounds. And I've had a couple of jacks as well that have been fell hooked as I've been bringing in my hook bait. But today I am purposely gonna go out and target them this winter. So I'm gonna switch from this view. I'm gonna go over to the head view and we're gonna do a circuit of the lake and uh, we're gonna be twitching sprats through the swims and hopefully we can put a few pike on the mat and for the film for this video so welcome to bowling for pike volume one enjoy Ta -da. Right, here we go. That sprat will look like a vindaloo to a piss head on a Saturday night. When that goes through the sweep. down to the left
bike tracks. Mm. We are looking for obvious features that the pike can literally hold out and wait for other fish to come past. But we want to just having a little little cast out out, out into open water. <laughs> Here we go. Right, I'll just have a take. Where are we did. One fast fish. <laughs> There's another one down here as well. Only a little jack. Come to Tosh. Yes. Nice early fish. Little tent peg, put that in there so we don't pull out and then go nowhere. Right, well, first fish of the morning. Nice little jack, some nice colours on it. Let's slip her back and continue on round the bowl. Look back. Look back. Well, it's time to move again, and we'll just go down here again and uh, have another couple of casts before we hit that reed margin down on the bottom of the M6 bank, which is this bank if you've not been a follower of my channel before.
obvious feature is this uh, reed margin. I'll just put a uh, just run a sprat just along there. You would like to think you'd be holding a pike. So where's that structure? Is it out here, Andy, or is it's it right here? Out. It's straight out. Straight out? You can see it at night, there's, a, there's brickwork goes straight out here. It's literally in line with that. Yeah. You can see it there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. There's a brick line there, you can see it there. Yeah, brick yeah. line there, and then you've got stakes. Not seen any carb topping this morning. Unless that was one. Not a lot of beans coming out, has it? Nothing. Come here, you two. Have you seen them robotic Yeah. I want to try and get one to be fair. They look really realistic, don't they? Yeah, I did contact the company. They do a rat one as well. Yeah, they do. They do ducks as well. Savage Gear um, Suicide Ducks are called. They're uh, doing all the staging over there now. Yeah, I, I heard them this morning. To be fair, I do want to come back and do a carp trip down here for the... the March, March, April now before it kicks off. Uh, there will be a mad rush down here. You'll see loads of people on it. you know what I mean? You'll have to push it off and get on it up and we can do it. If it was there, Andy, I would have had that. Just throw down one. <laughs> yeah, they look, they look good because you, you can just do them with one finger, can't you? The, the multipliers. No, no, the, 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 the rings are upwards, aren't they? Right, I'm going to let you carry on. Alright, Moody. Okay, have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> and you? All right. See you later. I'll let you know if you see it. Yes, please do. You can't tell that because your face is bright. I want to see the uh, cultits just feeding. Oh, you can see them. bit more of a shallow end down on the I-5 it just starts to gradually get shallower and shallower as you go towards the I-5 bank
Right, we are back. I'm not too sure how much you've seen, but basically we've come down the M6 bank and we're just now leading on to the I5 bank. Somewhere down this end, we lost connection, maybe in this room, without checking it or getting home. I don't know how much we've missed. Anyway, I've had a cast in here, nothing, and we're gonna move on down towards where the inflow is and there's quite a few pike always around that area there's quite a bit of water on there here at the moment and the banks are reflecting that so if I go arse over tit then I'll give you a little bit to laugh at well this is the inflow there's always bait fish in and around this area and with that then there's usually a pike or two around here whether we'll hit into one I don't know but I'm going to give it a good try I have caught pike out of here myself oh great it's absolutely bladded that now Now I have caught pike out of here myself by reeling in a popple when I've been fishing out there. Now I know they do get in here at times. No flow on it at the moment, however. It is pretty deep out there as that water, water comes through it has created a bowl and there's a couple of deep spots down there with a pipe to hold up if they are here like being trapped up in a weed the board swim I'm going to walk a little bit gingerly down here because these are lethal at this time of year and as you can see they've got a green algae on top of them which don't make them any more safer but it does put you out into the lake
Got a good depth set there. About four to five foot just in front of the swim. And then, as I said before, as you gradually go out. deeper it gets. Well, unfortunately, nothing in that swim. And as time is beating me, I'm going to miss a couple of swims out down on this bank and head directly towards the man bank and work a couple of swims there before. Before heading back towards the original place where I picked up the fish earlier. Tight down here. The Savage Gear Fire Tiger has come out. And we'll have a look how we get on with that. Goodness me, that is a crock. There's a crock there, I tell you. That was a big, big, big. That was a big fish, that was. And he's coming again. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Oh, bloody hell. That was a big fish. That was a big, big fish, that was. Dear me. That was a loss.
Oh yeah, there's big as did, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I've just lost one. Some good fishing there as well. Pete's uh yeah there are yeah. Pete and one of the guys here, he was walking around with his daughter in the yeah. summer, watching a big pike in here taking the duck with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah they they do. Yeah. Yeah, she's lovely. That's right. I thought this reed line would have held pike. Just had one. fish number two on the Savage Gear Fire Tiger and it just come up and absolutely smashed it right so we've got a bit of bank left to uh, fish but yeah happy days
oh, oh. Think we have it. Think we miss one then. Beauty. I just come right out the edge and just took, took that. Come on. Oh dear. Yes, fish number two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to get this one out as quick as possible. Get it untangled. And fish number three. I think we have found a couple out there because I've had a couple of hits out there now, not converted into them until this one come along. But yeah, I'll take that all day long. Yeah, it's all right, that one. Right, one last cast, and uh, it's time to move on. To be honest, I've probably got one more swim down to my right, and that's the end of this trip. But, been all the way around, had two fish out of here. Could have had a couple more, to be fair, off this uh, bank. Well, unfortunately, time is against us and it's time for me to wrap up and get back off home. Hope you've enjoyed bowling for pike and we managed to put a couple of jacks on the mat. Uh, big lot losing that double down towards the bottom end of this man bank. But we will be back and uh, I will be back out at them. Uh, I'll probably leave it a month or so before I come back down here. I want to target some other areas and uh, I am due to go out with another guy to do a bit of pike fishing and uh, wobble some dead baits through a uh, canal stretch or might do some lures. We will see. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel down on the bottom of this video and uh, hit that bell icon to keep you updated as and when I upload these videos. So see you later. Bye-bye.